Welcome to Ray's Garage. Today we're going to talk about the installation of the RZP-008 Z-Pack for the 68 RFE overdrive clutch. So the first thing you're going to install is this specially machined uh, plate. It is for the overdrive, underdrive uh, clutch. And you're going to make sure that you get the snap ring and the drum here first. And you've already got the, overdrive, the underdrive clutch installed. This is going to go with this specially machined step facing up. So regular machine uh, surface on the other side. So we put that in there and then we get our snap ring. This is the one that's always fun to install. Okay, and then next, I'm gonna go ahead and put this waved snap ring in the, the drum here, just so that I don't forget it later on. Okay, and we're gonna start off with a reaction plate. It's gonna go up against that pressure plate and then we're going to install these single-sided plates using the GPZ material. And we're going to install these upside down from the normal way that the single-sided plates would go in. And that's the reason why we have this uh, steel reaction plate in there. So we have a surface to work on for our frictions. So we go inside spline, outside spline, and so on until we get all seven inside spline and all seven outside spline friction plates in here. Notice I did say seven outside spline and seven inside spline. We have increased the capacity of this clutch pack by one each of those as opposed to the six that the OE comes with. This uh, is another steel plate. Uh, it's for the overdrive reverse, specially machined. And that goes in machined side facing down. And notice that the back side of this outside spline plate is facing this, so uh, this uh, pressure plate. That way we have no heat generated on this uh, pressure plate during the apply. And then we install our snap ring to hold that in place. And make sure that we seat that snap ring. Just kind of go around here. You don't need to put a whole lot of prying force on the aluminum fingers here because we don't want to do any damage there. Just enough to make sure that that snap ring is in place. Okay, install the reverse clutch. Just as we normally do. Get our snap ring in here. So before we put our reverse clutch in, uh, we want to air check the uh, overdrive clutch. And the way that you do this is you mount your dial indicator. If you have a magnetic base, that's the best way to do this. Uh, you mount that to the inside of the drum, and then we are actually going to measure the distance that the uh, pressure plate travels downward. So keep that in mind when you're reading your gauge. Uh, we've got our gauge zeroed out here. And using 20 PSI of air pressure, I'm going to apply pressure. And notice that our dial indicator is reading in the reverse direction. Okay, it's going from 0 to 90 to 80, 70, and so on. So once we get past 50, and that's reading about 50, between 55 and 56 thousandths. And that is well within the specification range of 30 to 63 thousandths. Okay, when air checking, you're gonna wanna air check on one of these two holes and block the other one. Otherwise, 
air just comes right back out. So while I'm blocking this one here, you can watch how the drum applies. Once we've uh, checked our clearances, not only on the Z-Pack, but also on the underdrive and the reverse uh, clutches, uh, you do want to soak these in oil before you do final assembly.